We have another Sinistee sighting in Smogon Champions League, a league where the best Little Cup players play each other. And Sinistee is unranked in the viability rankings. It's LCRU, in fact. A lot of people don't think Sinistee is good, but this is the second time we've seen it in the Smogon Champions League. And the point of Sinistee is to form a core with Zigzagoon. The idea is that Zigzagoon is weak to Ponyard, so we use Sinistee to bait in Ponyard and then Will-O-Wisp that Ponyard. So we see the core again, and it's on a similar hyper-offensive team. Stealth Rock, Ponyard, we have Light Screen, Reflect, Natu, Swords Dance, Grookey, and we have Dragon Dance, Tyrant. And Dragon Dance, Tyrant is quite uncommon, but it's actually really powerful, and one of the reasons it's so powerful is because of Strongjaw. Strongjaw Psychic Fangs after a Dragon Dance can one-hit KO Mianfu, and on top of that, it, it has a high defense stat and a rock typing, which is good for Mianfu's fake out. And that's the, one of the reasons you're going to see Tyrant. And we see Whale Waylord with a traditional sort of bulkier team with Porygon and then Diglett. And you like to see that type of core together because it means that Diglett is trying to trap Steel types for the Porygon. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. And Zigzagoon right now, all it has to worry about is Pharaoh Seed. That's basically what it has to worry about. Everything else is going to be Zigzagoon food. And similarly, Tyrant is actually really good because it has close combat, Psychic Fangs, and Rock Blast, which can hit everything really, really hard. So Tyrant is going to have to worry about Eviolite Staryu and then Choice Scarf Diglett. But other than that, Tyrant looks good as well. So Zigzagoon and Tyrant both look really, really good, right? So as with the Hyper Offensive team, you're going to see the lead Ponyard versus the lead Mianfu. And Mianfu reveals Taunt. Now this is really bad for Laxa right now, because the whole point of Ponyard is to run Inner Focus for Fake Out. But here, Mianfu isn't running Fake Out, it's running Taunt. So, Whale gets the better of this lead matchup, and Lax can't do anything versus the Mianfu right now. He can't do anything. So, high jump kick here. At best, he's going to knock off. But there's one more, even more problematic thing right now. He goes to Sinistia on a high jump kick, which doesn't work, but he does get the weak armor boost from uh, the U-turn. But one of the reasons Lax needed Stealth Rock was because Zigzagoon only one-hit KOs coughing if there's a Stealth Rock up. So by not getting that Stealth Rock up, it's going to actually have a really big implication later in the game because Zigzagoon needs more damage on the coughing. So now Lax has to worry about not only Pharaoh Seed, but also damage on coughing. But in any case, he goes to Sinistee on the U-turn. Porygon goes in and it's Trace, which is a never-seen set. You don't see Trace very often. But what that implies is that it implies that Porygon is a defensive set. Because typically offensive sets would run download to get a power boost. Defensive sets run trace. And that's going to be another problem for Zigzagoon. Because Zigzagoon does not one-hit KO Porygon without Stealth Rock. You need Stealth Rock to one-hit KO the Porygon. So that's three things right now that Zigzagoon needs help with. It needs help with Porygon, it needs help with coughing, and it needs help with... Pharaoh Seed. So, Lax uses Nasty Plot on the Porygon. Porygon reveals Thunder Wave, which is standard on a defensive stat. Stored Power does 40% and he teleports to Mianfu. Now, he sacrifices Ponyard here. It would have died to knock off. And he goes to Natu. And this is a really problematic turn right now because it basically comes down to the speed type. They both have 17 speed. If Natu can reflect before Mianfu can knock off, then he'll have 8 turns of reflect which is more than enough to get the job done. But if Mianfu can outspeed and knock off, this could be trouble for Lax. So the speed tie, he gets the reflect up on the speed tie, knocks off here, but he got what he wanted. Now he thunder waves the Mianfu, Mianfu gets paralyzed, and that's going to let him get the light screen up too. And then we have one more paralysis, and now the U-turn comes in. He goes to Diglett, Air Balloon Diglett, and he teleports right now. And he goes to Tyrant, while he goes to Tyrant, I don't think Tyrant is the right play right now. I think he should have gone to Zigzagoon and set up on the Diglett, because the concern right now is that Diglett has Final Gambit, and that is going to be doing a lot of damage to a very likely Eviolite Tyrant. If Tyrant has Berry Juice, then it's a different story. Then it's really good to take that Final Gambit. But I think this is going to be Eviolite Tyrant, which is a standard set. So in this case, he should have gone to Zigzagoon, because if he goes to Zigzagoon, he can eat up the final gambit, and then he can use, for example, Thief on Pharaoh Seed. And he won't have any issues because because of Reflect and Light Screen, nothing can really one-hit KO the Zigzagoon. So I think a slight misplay. We'll see if he gets punished by the misplay right now. Whale Wailoid, final gambit. There is no Eviolite. He uses Dragon Dance, okay? And we see Coughing right now. Coughing 
It does live exactly one Psychic Fangs right now, but we'll see what happens right now. He switches out to Pharaoh Seed. Okay, he's getting Iron Barb's chip on the Tyrant. So he's probably going to try and faint the Tyrant like that. He goes to Coughing. Oh, good predict from Lax. Did you see that predict? He predicted the Coughing switch and uses Psychic Fangs on the Coughing. So that Coughing just took a lot of damage right now. And now he goes back to Pharaoh Seed. Tyrant uses Rock Blast, okay. And now he's probably going to close combat, right? But the problem is right now Tyrant is going to faint. But the problem is that Zigzagoon got the chip it needed. It got the chip on Porygon. It got the chip on Coughing. Pharaoh Seed is gone. Now it looks like to me that Zigzagoon wins the game immediately. Lax first goes to Sinistria on the Staryu. Hydro Pump, 76%. It's Life Orb Staryu. The Paralysis, okay. Thunderbolt here. It is Life Orb. Want to take more damage. He can go to Grookey now. And he's going to try and set up the Zigzagoon Sweep, I think. So Mianfu comes in, takes a lot of damage from Grassy Glide. 80%. Now, will we see one more right now? Yeah, one more Grassy Glide. It doesn't have Fake Out. Now, what does he go to? Does he go to Coughing? He goes to Coughing, which is at 30%. So, Wood Hammer or Knock Off probably knocks out the Coughing right now. He switches out, so he doesn't have Wood Hammer, Knock Off. Pain Split, okay. Now, Natu is going to Reflect, Light Screen, do whatever it wants, and then Zigzagoon is going to Sweep. So, Coughing switches out into Porygon, okay. Traces the magic bounce. Natu, light screen. Okay, he uses Thunder Wave. I think he forgot about magic bounce, so that gets bounced back right now. Porygon teleports to Staryu, but with light screen up, Zigzagoon can set up on the Staryu. Right, so he goes to Porygon. He teleports into Zigzagoon, and a really good play from Whale Waylord. And the reason he switched out Staryu was that Zigzagoon would set up on Staryu, but Zigzagoon cannot set up on Porygon too well. And the reason I say that is because of Thunder Wave. So now if Lax wants to win, he has to hit through Paralysis. So we'll see if he can do that. Extreme Speed 1, okay. He goes to Staryu, that is going to faint. He does hit through the Paralysis, okay. And now Coughing, he has to hit one more versus the Coughing. And there we go. Zigzagoon sweeps the game right now. And a, a slightly challenging win, but Zigzagoon ends up getting the job done.